Guys, I'm very proud of myself. I curled my hair today in 11 and a half minutes. Yeah, I timed it. I did it the other day and I didn't even get through like an entire episode of Friends and I was like, I wanna see how it ends. I don't care that I've watched it 47 times already. I still wanna see how it ends. Hello everyone, today we are here to do a half and half face of dupes. We're gonna be talking about makeup dupes today. I just got a bunch of stuff from Copycat Beauty and I've been seeing them in the press over the last couple of months and that got me thinking about makeup dupes in general and I wanted to kind of sit down and talk with you guys talk about the products, apply them to my face, side-by-side -side comparison to their higher-end product that they're duping, see what the quality's like, do like a little chit-chat about dupes in general, what my thoughts are on it, and yeah, just like sit down, just chat, test out makeup, you know, the huge. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos here every Thursday and Sunday. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, now that we're zoomed in and I, uh, <laughs> have my latte. Let's talk real quick about what Copycat Cosmetics is doing, which is basically they're creating a makeup dupe, which is when a brand replicates a more expensive brand's product and offers it for a much lower price. And they're doing that, but in a way I've never seen before, which means that they have been promoting on their website. For example, they have these new, these new palettes out. These ones right here, they have four different ones. They have them up on their website now. They are copying the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. This is the Smoky Obsessions palette looks like this and then this is the dupe so you can see exact same shades exact same placement in and they say on their website this is a replica of the Huda Beauty palette usually the brands will sort of like maybe hint at it like with like a wink to like the color or the shape of the product or something like that but they'll never outright call it out and this is the first time I've ever seen a brand do that so this is the autumn palette and then the warm browns which is again <laughs> identical replica if i can open it see look at that identical now i swatched two of the shades in the autumn palette already but i haven't directly compared them side by side to the huda beauty one so let's do that let's just swatch a couple of them and see if the colors are similar because obviously that's going to be one thing and then a whole different story is the actual quality of the eyeshadows and if that is duplicated or in some cases like I'll talk about some of my favorite uh, dupes sometimes the dupes are even better than the original which is like the highlight that that is what you that is gold so you can see that the copycat one is much warmer it has more of an orangey undertone um the quality it seems like the Huda Beauty one is a little bit less pigmented but also the shade is kind of off so let's try another one okay so we have Huda and we have copycat right here and that's for the warm kind of gold tone in the center so these are similar but i do see when i'm looking at it up close some differences in the copycat beauty one there's much more pronounced gold glitter like it's it's much more obvious in in the product whereas the huda beauty one is more foiled it's more metallic let's try one more from the autumn palette we'll try this like warm kind of a pinky shade and these like don't yeah they don't look similar at all. And what's probably most interesting is that's the copycat one and that's Huda Beauty. And the copycat one is swatching like a lot stronger than the Huda Beauty one. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go on to the smoky palettes though. So I picked three shades from both of the palettes. I did Huda and then copycat right beside it. Um, so you can see that the shimmers right here, these are very, very similar. Like one is like a hair warmer and one's more gold, but like that's just being nitpicky. The middle sort of matte brown swatch very similarly. Again, being nitpicky, one's a little bit more of a purpley undertone, so not exact. And then the black I thought would be interesting um, to swatch. The Huda Beauty one reminds me of like really soft, finely milled chalk, just in the way that it feels. I don't mean that in a bad way, just like that's what it feels like. And then the Copycat Beauty one feels dusty, but it, it also seems to swatch a lot more pigmented than the Huda Beauty one. Do you guys remember what the first dupe was that you ever tried and were like really excited about for me it was the the essence make me brow i actually pulled it out because i wanted to show you guys this product right here was probably the first dupe that i came across that i was like super excited about because it was very similar to the benefit gimme brow and when i first found that like they didn't have a lot of options for brow products that were in like the drugstore category so that was like a really exciting find for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that i use separate brushes for each side i'm going to do huda beauty on this side copycat on this side we'll chat so i don't know about you guys but i feel like 
when I first came across like the dupes market, it was entirely by accident that people did it. I'm starting in the obsessions palette, the smoky obsessions. Like, do you remember when Kylie started wearing Velvet Teddy, the lipstick from MAC, and everyone freaked out? It was the color, everyone needed it in their life, and it was just like an absolute necessary. And then somebody came across uh, a NYX lipstick that was very, very similar, if not like straight up exactly the same. And I remember looking forever for that NYX lipstick and it was sold out everywhere. Like as soon as they restocked, it was gone again. MAC lipsticks are expensive and not everyone wants to splurge on a lipstick or some people have specific categories that they like to splurge on. Like when I was first starting out in makeup, I was okay with splurging on like a foundation or a concealer or something like that, but I felt weird about splurging on a high-end eyeshadow palette. But that was just me and everyone has different preferences and things that they would rather spend their money on versus others. And then I remember when I first came across the <laughs> Makeup Revolution as a brand and that exploded because they were very, very blatantly copying exact um, palettes from brands, especially Too Faced. They loved copying Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, and then this is Makeup Revolution. Like, right, and I never saw anything about them admitting what they were doing or, or showcasing, hey, this is the Too Faced and this is what we're doing. It was just sort of like, la 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 la. And then everyone always had questions like, is that legal? Can they do that? Is this sort of like one of those international waters thing? Let's go in with that peachy, like that coral tone next because it was so vastly different in terms of the, the swatchability of the product. And I'm kind of curious if the copycat one is just a more pigmented blendable eyeshadow versus the Huda Beauty one. People have been doing dupes across many different categories. Like I came from the food world and you know, like brands would copy everything so you go into like a walmart and you look at the frozen section and you see the walmart's brand of frozen chicken fingers and it would be right next to the name brand version of said chicken fingers and they would be like right beside each other in the store and then you kind of get to pick because the walmart one would be obviously a lot less expensive but you don't know if it's going to taste as good they also do it a lot in the fashion world i.e like Fashion Nova, for example, is a very popular example of someone taking designer ideas and then producing them at a much lower cost. Sometimes the quality's there, sometimes it's not. It forces these higher end brands to innovate, to sell better, to market themselves better, use better quality products or innovative new ingredients or whatever. Otherwise they're gonna lose market share to these these generic brands and drugstore or like mass brands have been really stepping up their game with quality of product. Like I do so many reviews, you guys know on my channel, like I test so many different drugstore products and every year it feels like they just get better and better and better quality. And I'm gonna, I, I guarantee it's gonna happen in the skincare world next. And the best part of it is that us as consumers we just like reap all of the benefits of this because drugstore brands are stepping up their game. They're creating these really good quality products. And then the higher end brands are forced to innovate and come up with even better products. And then everyone wins. Let's do like a metallic shade next. Maybe we'll start with like the, the bronzy one in the autumn palette. Ooh, she is pigmented. I just say right now, the mattes are very, very similar to each other. Um, and the shimmers, I think I prefer the richness of the Huda Beauty one. So what typically happens is a brand will launch a product, like you look at the Stila, the, the liquid glitters that came out and everyone was obsessed with them. And then people started to see the success that Stila was having with these glitters and then it felt like everyone and their mom launched some. Everyone from Wet n Wild to Pixie's Fairy Lights, these are some of the best dupes that I have found, by the way, um, these products. Copycat has their version of the Stila's as well. So that right there, doing two swipes, that is the, um, the Copycat one. Beautiful. And let's do the Stila one right beside it. 
one side and then the other side. And that is them side by side. So you can see that the steel one, I did giant swatch for that one. The steel one is a little bit more pigmented. It has a little bit more like color to it. Whereas I feel like the copycat one is slightly almost washed out, more glitter less metallic sheen like a foil underneath but like super similar and I feel if you put them on the eyes they would probably look very very similar if you like that tone and don't want to spend you know 30 bucks on a glitter eyeshadow then you know that's a good dupe for it but you're playing the waiting game with a dupe so like if I didn't want to spend the money on the Stila product then I'm waiting for a brand to come up with a dupe because I it does it's not as important to me to have it now but then because I'm willing to wait that amount of time for a dupe it's not that important to me and I probably wouldn't have bought the original high-end product to begin with what do you guys think of like the difference between copycat beauty or sorry copycat cosmetics like full-on admitting that they're duplicating versus say elf cosmetics and having the camo concealer I did a full video testing it as a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape They've never said like, hey, we're exactly the same as Tarte Shape Tape, but we're five bucks. But like everyone put two and two together. So is it better that Copycat just blatantly says it outright? Or is it better that they don't and you just sort of have to put those pieces together and just assume? I think there are a lot of good things about dupes. Like for example, the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise versus the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I did when it first launched. I was talking about these side by side, did a full day wear test, and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise won by a landslide. Like it was just so much better of a product and then it exploded and everyone was obsessed with it and wanted to get in on it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply this mascara today. You know, just side by side, just compare and contrast, you know? It's been a while since I've done that with this particular, this particular brand. It's been a while. But then a part of me feels sort of like it, it, I don't know, it feels very lazy to me, especially because Copycat was just so outright about it. It just, there was something like you didn't put any effort into coming up with your own color story. You didn't come up with any concept of yourself. It was just like, how do I launch this as fast as possible with the cheapest quality as I possibly can of palette, of packaging, of marketing. I don't know, there's part of me that feels kind of squeamish about it. and. I, I don't know why, because I have always really loved dupes and I love that brands are are trying to be better every day. And I know I keep harping on that, but like, you know, not everyone can afford a $30 sponge or a $100 eyeshadow palette, but they still want good quality stuff. So you can see there is the L'Oreal one versus the Too Faced one. And I had to curl the Too Faced one to get it to work. So sometimes a dupe does outperform the original, which is really exciting. And now we're gonna go on to another dupe, and this is of the ABH um, like glow kits. And I have two of the glow kits here, and what it seems has happened is that ABH sold these on their website, and then they combined a bunch of colors from both of these into one kit that is now sold on Sephora. So, long story short, these are the colors that are duplicated in this palette. This is the Copycat Beauty Beach. <coughs> I hate the smell of it. But I figured I would swatch the shades that I do have and I have three of them. I just don't have uh, this one, this one right here. And this is a very common one. People love copying ABH. The Modern Renaissance palette, Wet n Wild did a similar one. I actually did a full video comparing and applying the Wet n Wild eyeshadow versus the ABH one. And it's similar, like the, the colors are very similar but it's just not as pigmented and not as easy to blend. So it kind of depends on where your preferences are, um, but let's let's stop talking, start swatching. So let's start with the shade Marshmallow right here and compare that one. That one's almost has like a green undertone to it, which is interesting. Oh, they feel similar. I don't even remember which one was ABH. <laughs> which one did I swatch? Oh no. All right, well that's, that's very clear. If I don't even remember which one I swatched, they're pretty similar. Let's try another one. Next one is Butterscotch, which is the, ooh, the bottom one. The, bo the bottom. Can you guys see that? Look how similar they look. That's crazy. They both have that really rich, creamy, like buttery feel to them, which feels phenomenal um, <laughs> when you're swatching them. So those are the two shades right there. This one is ABH. This one is Copycat. 
very, very similar. I'm sure if I looked at them close enough, I could pick up little differences between the two of them. Like the, um, the Copycat Beauty one is a little bit more gold, but uh, very similar. And also, I think it has a little bit more glitter in it. That could be me though. And then the last one, which didn't look that similar when I actually opened up the palette, but that's the shade it's supposed to be like. So this is supposed to be like the shade Starburst, which in the ABH palette is this one. The buttery smoothness of the product, super similar. Talk too much today. I don't know how to talk to anymore. That's Copycat and that's ABH. The Copycat Beauty one is a lot lighter than the ABH. Um, but like similar undertones, I guess. It's interesting because this isn't the first brand that sort of paid homage, if you will, to ABH. Like I also have this palette from Beauty Bakery. This is the Milk and Honey palette and it also looks and feels very similar to the ABH palettes. Very strong pigmentation, nice creamy texture. Um, so, I mean, it's not uncommon for brands to pull, um, ideas from other brands that are selling products that do really well. So I feel like this particular one isn't new. I feel like this has been done before. People do duplicate these, these glow kits. So this is the high-end one on here. I feel like I want to put a little of marshmallow on top. So they feel like this isn't light enough for my skin tone. Like that's what it looks like. And then let's go in with the copycat beauty one. I just had to, I had to check. They look so similar. Okay, super blinding highlight. Whoa, that's like really blinding. Ah, feels like it's a little lighter than the original butterscotch. Is that just me? I feel like it is. And it's almost like a little bit more reflective than the other one, which is interesting. Wow, okay, copycat. Oh, okay. I don't know why it just weirds me out that they call it out. Whereas like that should be a good thing, right? Like. They're just owning it. They're owning what they're doing, whereas no other brand has done that. And yet, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Wow, those highlights are very similar and like super over the top. Whoa. And now I want to do lipsticks. So they did um, dupes for MAC lipsticks, which are well known in the community. MAC lipsticks are great quality. I have 4 million of them. And we have the MAC lipsticks over here. And here are the Copycat Beauty ones. So you can see packaging very similar. They removed elements of it that were clearly more expensive, like the silver around the, the middle of it. But otherwise, it's identical. So this is 06 from Copycat Beauty, and this is Honey Love from MAC. So I'm going to swatch Honey Love first. I'm going to swatch it. That's right. <laughs> I need to swatch on my other side. So that is the MAC one. And then right beside it, let's do Copycat. Wow super close. If you're going to be super nitpicky, the MAC one is a little bit cooler toned in terms of the of the undertone. Again, being really, really picky, almost more gray than the uh, copycat one. Let's do the other one, which is 02 versus Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy first and then copycat right beside it. Very similar. In terms of just looking at the swatches, they feel very similar. They both feel very creamy. They're both very pigmented. So far, very similar. So let's try them on the lips and I'll do half of my lip with the MAC and then half the lip with a Copycat Beauty. I'm gonna do Copycat here. Kind of waxy. Like it's like pulling a little bit. And that's Honey Love. Just a lot smoother in terms of application. You can get the same effect as with the with the copycat one. It's just going to take a little bit more effort. It just doesn't feel as smooth. It doesn't glide on as as nicely. Um but it's but it's there. Like they look the same. It looks like I just applied one color. And I'm getting all the <laughs> lipstick <laughs> lids all like mismatched cuz they look so similar sitting in front of me. I got to say that I'm quite impressed with the copycat um eyeshadows, the ones that I tried anyway, the shades. Very pigmented. They seemed quite easy to blend out. I know I did a very soft look today. Um but they did they seemed to do a good job and they seem to be popping more than the Huda Beauty ones. For the lipsticks, I prefer the MAC ones. They just were gliding on a lot smoother and that's something that's important to me personally. And then the highlights, very similar, nice creamy textures across the board, both really good quality products. But I wanna know what you guys think. Like this is a really interesting 
world of makeup and seeing all these dupes pop up and seeing, you know, e.l.f. having, you know, that primer that's very similar to the Tatcha primer and like, it's clearly a dupe. They may not have called it out right in front of you, but like, it's a dupe. How do we feel about it? Do we like it? Do we not like it? Have you tried any dupe products before? I personally, I'm a big fan of them. I like testing them out. I wanted to share all of my thoughts with you guys. There are some things that I like about them, things that I don't like about them and how they just accomplish their goals and how they, you know, invest into certain markets. And I think that it's really interesting and I had fun doing this experiment. But leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about it, what your thoughts are on this brand, on other brands that dupe other products. Make sure you check out videos here in case you have missed any and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And that is everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome, weekend and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.